with Guy Force Gaming, and I have this week's Metabyte. Um, so this Monday we had, uh, I think it was 20 people. It was a pretty pretty decent turnout. Uh, we're seeing lower numbers overall, but I think it's going to gear up since we're going to be getting into Ulti Cup season. Uh, but I have top four lists from last Monday's GFG event. Uh, pretty diverse, pretty cool. As you can see on screen right now, Pokefish did bring some spice. So let's start right there. Fourth place with Pokefish. He went three and one, lost in the finals, dropped all the way to fourth. That is rough, but that is how tiebreakers are sometimes. Uh, he ran Skull Nightmon. So he ran the uh, one uh, Montemon, uh, four Pagumon, then four of the new Monodemon, four of the Sparrowmon, just for that like big rookie beater, four uh, Chikurimon, and those were his rookies. And then he ran, you know, the four uh, Skull, <clears throat> excuse me, the four, four and four of the Skull Knight, the, the Deadly Axe, the uh, Skull Knight mode, uh, Cavalier mode. We have the two Grumble, one of the uh, Skull Knight, the new Skull Knight. It's it's all Skull Knight, man. We have the Dark Knight. We have another Dark Knight. Three of. We have three of the Skull Knight X. And then two of the Death X. Three Pride Memory Boost. Two Kongu. Four Nene. Two Izzy. Just a really cool list. This is a really fun list. Uh, a lot of these effects just get... Uh, just, just really cool synergies with one another. Uh, the deck is really rewarding to play and a lot of fun. Uh, check out Robo Sushi's channel because he does like a deck breakdown of uh, this archetype. And I think it's worth looking into. But congrats to Pokefish for going, getting all the way to the finals, even though he did drop to fourth. Still a very respectable run. Uh, and Skull Nightmon is a pretty cool deck type. And then third, we see Hung Lee, and he was playing Jessmon. Uh, we have the four Guri, the four of the Searcher Huck, two of the Sister Searcher Huck, three Solar Mon, three of the Starter Huck. Cool, interesting ratio there. He's valuing that 1k DP a lot, and the, I guess the memory gain off the Sister Mons might come up. Two of each Blanc, uh, four of the old Bow Huck, four of the new, two new CL, or two of the Starter Deck CL, I should say. Uh, or, I'm sorry, two of the BT10 CL. Uh, two of the old CL, one of the starter deck CL, one Savior Huck, the one that's at one, four of the new Savior Huck, one Chimera Mon, two Genku X, two uh, Jessmon X, three Jessmon from the starter, one GX, one Delicate Plan, one Gaia Force, and four Master to Pupil Disciple. Master Disciple. It's Jessmon. Uh, this is the GX variant. We see it work a lot. I think it's very strong. I think we're going to see this deck for a while in, you know, different iterations just here and there. But uh, I like I like just one. This is a pretty pretty standard build, pretty good build. Uh, second place we have Kevin with uh, Imperial Drummond. <laughs> so the deck that just won't go away. I feel like every format it just pops up somewhere. Uh, so we have four of the Demi V, two Jamming V Mon, three of the Memory Gain V Mon. Four Labramon, four Searcher Vmon, the one Lobo if you need it for game, four X Vmon, four Stingmon, two Lydramon, four Pael, two Diet Novi, two Fighter Mode, two Dragon Mode, one Death X, one Ice Wall, one Blue Memory Boost, three Hammer Spark, four Mega Death. Wow, that's a heavy Mega Death. He is not. He wants to get lucky in security. Uh, one Hidden Potential Discovered, three Davis, and two Davis Ken. Strong deck, 3-1 uh, record. Um, I think Imperial is going to be around for a while. I think we're going to have to deal with seeing it as an off-meta pick or, a, I guess, a strong Tier 2 pick, regardless of what support it gets in the future. It's going to... It's a fan favorite. The, the, the archetype is loved. The play style is fun. Uh, it's easy to pick up. It's a great beginner deck, uh, and there's a lot of, to flesh it out. And <clears throat> Just be rewarding with the play. So I'm a big fan. Congrats to Kevin for second place. And first place was Tyler Lau with Melga X. So we, we do see this deck just sticking around. It's still very strong. Um, he ran the four Sunemon, four of the BT5 Gabumon, four Gabumon X, three of the starter deck Vmon Gabumon. Two of that promo guru or the BT5 Gurumon, four Gurumon X, four promo Gurumon, 
3 wear guru x 4 promo gurumon and 1 sagittarius mode 3 melga x 2 ex metal gurumon 1 omnimon x antibody the new one it's pretty much the only new card they run but it's very strong one of the blitz omni one of the metal storm one ice wall, three mem boost, three hammer spark, one Kakaitis breath. I like that one one split kind of. Two X antibody options, one Davis, and two cool boy. So this is another deck. I don't think it's going anywhere. I think we're gonna see Metal Guru on X just because it's consistency and its ability to just it, it really does kind of steal games with that OTK archetype and yeah, it's a solid deck. I think in North America we prove that we will just stand consistent blue decks no matter how long it takes them to leave the meta so that 4-0 congrats to tyler and uh yeah this was this week's guys uh thank you so much for watching I'm sorry it took a minute for me to get this i had a really busy week but i do have at least when you're watching this video i have three videos right now of gameplay two from store championships finals one is a jessmon mirror with me uh featured in it in the store championship that uh, i won uh, I ended up giving the guy the win because I didn't want to gatekeep, but I did, you know, go and defeat in the event. The other one is a store championship that my roommate won, so congrats to her. Uh, also playing Jessmon, but it was Jessmon versus Crossheart. Uh, so spoilers on those games. Anyone who's still at the end of this video, which I don't think a lot of people stick around to the very end, but if you do, I appreciate you. And then we have another just win a box game. Uh, finals match with Grandis Kowagamon versus Armor GX. So, some cool games coming up. I'm going to stagger those throughout this week coming up. So, you'll see those probably every other day pop up here and there. I got another, another. I think we're calling it DNA Dialogue episode, just conversation. Uh, this one coming up I'm going to do with Dan. We're going to be talking about sportsmanship, so that might be a cool listen. Uh, I really appreciate the positive feedback you guys gave me in Primitive. On the last one I did, so I'm gonna keep doing those. I like talking. I like talking to people. I got some interesting friends, people I love, and you know we're just gonna keep pumping out some content. There might be a couple days in between some of them, but for the most part, I'm gonna try and give you guys consistent few videos a week. Uh, some weeks they might all come at once. Some of them they might be staggered, but uh, I really appreciate you guys' patience and uh, all the love and support you guys give me. So join the Discord, play in our events, hang out, talk with us. Uh, thanks for being a great community. Thanks for being great people. I love you guys. Bye.